The Republicans have been on a long crusade to depict Obama as being anti-religion. It started, I think, really taking hold when Rick Perry ran that ad where he was talking about Obama's war on religion. That there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military, but our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. As president, I'll end Obama's war on religion. It's a ridiculous argument. Let's begin with the many, many times that the president has professed his own personal faith. There is unprecedented access on the part of religious groups uh, to this administration and to this president. I've heard claims that the administration is waging a war on religion. I don't know that it's productive to phrase it in those terms. And I'm also not sure that that's the intention of people within the administration. I, I do think that, that in the last year or year and a half, we have seen a number of actions from a number of different federal agencies that that are premised on an understanding of religion that's much narrower than the one we feel comfortable with. There was a recent Supreme Court case which unanimously held that um, the ministerial exception uh, shields an employer from an employment discrimination suit if they uh, fire an employee who is a, of a pastoral capacity. Um, in their amicus brief in the case, the administration took the opposite position. So the Republicans have really seized on that as evidence that the administration is hostile to the church. Health and Human Services has announced that it, people who could successfully apply for aid for programs for migrants and refugees was not going to include organizations that didn't provide a full range of reproductive services, effectively cutting out Catholic relief services and and the Migration and Refugee Services of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. Well, the Republican candidates are doing this because they want to rile up their base, their base that has been convinced that we are a Christian nation that is under assault from secular interests. They point back to 1962 when the Supreme Court ruled that officially sponsored prayer in school was unconstitutional. They talk about people who don't want the Ten Commandments posted in public places as being against the Judeo-Christian values they claim this country was founded on. We are engaged in a cultural struggle with a secular elite that believes that life is random and has no moral meaning. Newt Gingrich portrays Obama as being a secular socialist. He used this in particular uh, in reference to the rule requiring employers to provide contraceptive coverage in their insurance plans. The First Amendment exists to prevent the government from ordering people to violate their conscientious beliefs. Religious institutions like our own have First Amendment rights. We are a Catholic institution and we try to observe the moral and religious teachings of the Church. And the Church has, has consistently reaffirmed its opposition to artificial forms of contraception. At the same time as we're preaching that message, the health care regulations require us to contradict the message, uh, making hypocrites of us in the most important part of our message to our students. It's really a policy that's for access on the part of people who may themselves be Christians, may even be Catholics, who disagree with their own church policy, or who may not be Catholics or persons of faith at all, and yet ought not be denied access to the full range of reproductive contraceptive services because their employer um, objects. And that's not an example of any kind of war against religion. It's an example of an administration trying to care for all of the people in the in the country, uh, regardless of their religious convictions. It's hardly any surprise to me that in a country as diverse as this, with as many religious groups as we have, that some would think that this is okay, and others, like Catholics, like many evangelicals, like many Latter-day Saints, have difficulties with this. I don't think that respect for the religious principles of those objecting groups should disappear just because some faiths are okay with it.